Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I got, I'm coming at you with another react. We got living life, going out, staying positive with Amberlynn Reed. I don't know what we're in store for because I have a feeling her idea of what that means is very different than what a lot of other people mean. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what we got in store for us. I'm gonna put money down and say we're probably gonna go out to eat. I'm assuming that's what going out means. Without further ado, let's just get into this react. I can skip that intro for you. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to start my vlog. All of us are about to go out for dinner as a unit. I mean, <laughs> straight away. I thought that they were gonna like try. I mean, what, we had the last vlog of we're not gonna go out as much, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, dude, you don't have to go out to eat. Living life isn't going out to eat. There's more to life than eating out. Ugh. Unit as a family. So I'm excited for that. So I'm about to get in the car, doing a little bit of play-by-play -play action. I am now in the car. I'm just- Oh my God. Play -play. <laughs> I can't, but, I can't. So how's your day been? Uh. I was actually waiting for you guys to actually answer that question. Like you care. It's actually been really good. Like you care. I've been productive. I've been smiling. I like those hoops. Those are cute hoops. I'll give her those. Her, sometimes, I mean, I know that they're not like super fancy earrings or whatever. I think the amount of earrings she has is ridiculous. But sometimes she wears some earrings that are kind of cute. Those are a little bit cuter. They're a little younger. They're a little more fashion-y, I guess, than, um, I mean, coming from someone who doesn't know anything about fashion. But I get, I'll give her props. Those earrings are pretty cute and happy even though like we are going through something i mean god dude i mean she just she has to every vlog talk about we're going through something we're, i mean everyone's going through things i understand that this is very pressing to you but if you don't want people to talk about it then quit mentioning it on camera it's really that simple i'm about to fix my eyeliner because it looks a little messed up over here oh is that the is that the cancer wisher is that the cancer wisher over there? Ugh. I bet you don't look too good. So right now we're actually currently at the mall. Um, one of our candles. She's sitting on her looks. good old. She always sits in, on that fucking so Becky wanted bench. To it seems like just return it in because Eric said that you can do that. So Becky's gonna go in there. Well, she currently. A Amber's kind of like you know when you see like straight couples out in the wild like at the mall and stuff like that the husbands are always like sitting at like this focal point where like all the women come and like drop off their bags as they go throughout shopping area because like a lot of men just are not that interested in shopping like that it's kind of sad how like amber's kind of relegated to that role even though i know we know her and we know that she loves shopping she loves spending money so it's kind of sad that like that's what she has to do when she goes out instead of like actually being able to partake in the activity of shopping becky's forced to go and like probably get things for her and bring them and let her look at them like it's it's sad it's very sad i i i mean at least she's at the mall but it's like girl i don't know i i, I don't know if i were her i'd get a fucking walker or something something i mean if 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 you're so worried about um not having a place to sit or something because you're gonna get too tired too quickly or out of breath too quickly i don't know like bring a wheelchair or something and then like only use it when you need it like when you get really tired but like i don't know it's kind of sad is in there and she's gonna get a new candle you guys this couldn't is they like have just got borrowed a candle from eric like, whatever i don't like saying that so cliche but like i'm in the mall like i walked in the mall and i've been walking around it's hard as she's sitting breaks <laughs> and i rest but i'm actually doing it so i'm like proud so we are on our way to get it's just i get it like i don't know dude i don't understand it's like she's oh she the way she talks about it sometimes is as if she like overcame something like she had to go through years of physical therapy in order to regain her mobility or something but it's like you did this you lost your mobility no one else did this to you this what didn't happen to you you caused it so it's like you should i mean i don't know not you shouldn't be ashamed all the time but it's like dude it's it's expected of you to like be able to walk around like i don't know dinner i'll actually show you becky got a couple more candles than i originally thought so i'm super excited because i haven't even seen them yet so we will show you those when <clears> we get <throat> home and i'll show you what i'm eating it's this place called sunny's oh my god it's so good. oh sunny's this is, is my tiny little cheat meal and it's been 
20, it's been 48 hours and we're already talking about cheat meals. See, this is what I mean. Like, you shouldn't have cheat meals. Like, really, honestly, you shouldn't be having cheat meals. When you go out to eat, you should be eating healthy. You shouldn't even be going out to eat, real talk. There's no reason for them to be going out to eat. It's not like they lead these very extremely busy lives. It's not like they have jobs or children or work or anything to really keep them from like being able to have three meals a day at home or prepared already. And I don't understand like if if it's really this bad and you're having to like really change up the diet or whatever, like why are you causing Becky why are you causing her more temptation? Like it's probably already hard enough with whatever diagnosis she got. And now it's like, oh, well, you got to take me to the mall. Oh, well, you got to, we got to go out to eat. It's just like, it's a lot. And it's like, I honestly think it comes from a place of just complete selfishness. I do this. I usually only have just this one meal. And if I feel super hungry later, then I'll Girl, we know you're not meal eating one like, meal a day. Oh, like Don't stop. Or fruit. Stop. Like so it's actually the end of the night. I'm not oh, gonna we're not going right to see now. it. <laughs> of course. I forgot to show you my food. I'm As sure. I got pulled chicken. I got macaroni and cheese. And I got a, what is it called? Cornbread? Like a cornbread muffin. So good. And I didn't show you guys the candles yet, but I can show you guys tomorrow. But it's the end of the night. And I forgot all about that because. I'm we sure you did. And we're watching some show on Netflix called Two Sentence Horror Stories. It's They're like really creepy, but. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I have a little bit of a leftover makeup situation. I know Ugh, it's a really bad habit. I can't. Me, I, I mean, I don't wear makeup every day or whatever, but like I have recently, not recently, for the past year or something, I've gotten to the habit of making sure that I wash my face twice a day, in the morning, in the shower, and at night. And I could not fathom not washing makeup like i feel so gross at the end of the day and i don't wear makeup and i'm like i have to wash my face because i'm not gonna go and lay in bed with a nasty face full of grease and like i just can't do it so i can't imagine like being like well i'm can't I'm not gonna wash my face even though i'm wearing blush and foundation and mascara and like it's just I, that can't, it can't i don't understand how her skin isn't horrible because honestly if i don't wash my face every night i wake up in the morning and i'm already i have like five breakouts like it's crazy I already know but she's very blessed in that visit. department she's very she's lucky so i just wanted to share with you what i'm having for my first meal an apple that's not just what i'm having oh of course it's not on it. cute and this it's a multi green sandwich thin with cucumber and Ugh. cream cheese and a veggie patty it has become one of my favorite things because it's super fresh. Because it's fro. You're eating frozen patties. What are you talking about? It's super fresh. What? You're eating like processed bread and like frozen meat, like or frozen vegan food. Like it's not fresh. What are you talking about? Cucumber. So the cucumber's fresh. That and the apple. Ooh. I'm surprised it wasn't a cotton so candy this is apple. One of the Ooh, her that we arm. Got. The other two are in the bedroom. This one's leaves, which is one of our fall favorites, and we actually had it on last night. Amazing. So, hello. I know this is an awkward angle, but I'm an awkward Sally, so... Four dollar drink? Where are they? I mean, the yellow and black like that kind of makes me think that they're at, like, Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know. We'll see. You guys, my skin is so dry. I'm an Select beer. Today. We we're going to drop off Becky's sister because she stayed the night last night. And we decided to go to the. Could, is Ruby Becky Tuesday the only one? Oh, Ruby dinner. Tuesday. Out to eat again. So, what are we like? Are we just not having. Like, I, ha, it can't be a cheat meal if you do it every day, dog. That's not how this works. I got tilapia and shrimp. Sure, with you did. Mashed potatoes. Sure, you <laughs> did. I'm a mashed potato fiend. Oh, there they are. I was vlogging. <laughs> No, you're good. So, I want to know. I want to know when Miss. I kind of like Becky with her hair back like that a little bit. It's. I I feel like Becky should stop wearing hats so much because I do. I don't know. I like her hair like that back in a ponytail. It's cute. I like it. She actually looks a lot better in my opinion so than we wearing just, those fucking just hats all the time. Off Becky's sister, and now we are on our. Is Becky the only one in the family that can drive? Like I couldn't like. What? Why are? Why are all these people unprevent? Like, why can't none of these people drive? It's so weird. 
I, poor Becky, right? Like she's like she's gotten diagnosed with something. She's like sick, and she's still forced to like haul people around and play like the town Uber. Like it's I can't imagine, dude. I'd get so over it, so over it. Way home, and we are driving with the windows down because it honestly feels amazing out. Look how beautiful! Oh. <laughs> Okay, Therese, thanks. What a great vlogger. So if you guys want any idea what Kentucky's like, here's the perfect shot for you. <laughs> Just kidding. She's such a bitch. So I'm she has so, so many underhanded comments. Cows, I'm like, oh my god, look, there's cows. They're so cute. You don't say that when you look in the so, mirror every day? loading the dishwasher. Ew, wash that's dishwasher so gross, out. Sorry. Yeah, that's disgusting. Lock it. Start it. Bam. Dishwasher is loud. So <laughs> I'll put money down that Becky loaded the dishwasher and Amber's like, wait, babe, let me go in there and start it up. I can help you. I put money down that that's what happened. It's like low key in this house for the last week. We've had friends visiting, family visiting. Like it's just been like constant hustle and bustle. <laughs> and it's been like I would honestly, I would love to see what Amber would. I would love to see how she would like um, cope with actually having shit to do. Like, I would love for her to, like, actually go and shadow someone. Well, I mean, she couldn't really do that. Someone would have to shadow her. But, like, I would love for her to go and be like, you know what? I'm going to go shadow someone that works at, like, a retail store for a, a full shift. And then has to come home and, like, cook dinner for their kids or something. And, like, understand what it's really like to be busy. Because th their idea of busy is, like, sitting around watching Netflix and going to the mall. Like, oh, my God. Hustle and bustle. So, bu like... You're not doing anything. Nothing is happening. Like, you you don't do much. Amazing distraction, but now no one's here. So I got my boxy charm, and I just wanted to show you guys. What I was feel in if it. she signed up I for this, open, like, so. did she get three boxy charms a month or something? Me. I swear we to God, I feel like we get one of these every week. Pro glow, which I actually really do like tart. So it's a liquid highlighter, which I'm actually really excited for because I'm currently using a powder one. We have lip plumping gloss oh, in God. Harley Nude by Iconic London. <gasps> I'm excited for this because I have been experimenting with lip colors, like in the vlog in this one. Should start experimenting with your diet. I actually mixed two of them together and it came out exactly how I wanted it. Marvelous. <laughs> she's, I'm sure I, I can't that wrong, but that's I can't okay. she had to like sound Ooh, out marvelous I love this oh my gosh this is so cute I adore the colors look at that and yesterday I, I just wore, um, I don't know I mean I don't fuck with makeup like that or whatever like there are things that I think in the makeup world that are cute but I could not imagine getting the same fucking box every week with like the same colors of shit in it every Like I would, it's like, why? Like, why do I need five of the same color nude blush? Like I could not, I don't know why. I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe that's a me thing. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Let me know down in the comments if you like need five of the same kind of blush or whatever. But t t I, I just don't see it. Eyeshadow. It was like a pink color, but I'm sure you guys know. Considering she also wears we maybe that makeup one fitter. time a month, a it feels like. It's a classy skin balm. And it looks like this. Ooh, it smells good. I'm actually going that would, to try this. That's enough for, for like sure. one wrist. So last thing in here is another cosmetic sponge. And this one is black. I recently got one and it was blue. Okay, you guys, so it is comment of the day time. These comment of the days are starting further and further, like, closer into the blog now, it seems like. It's because she's trying to stretch it out. She's trying to get to those 10 minutes so she can put, like, 10 mid-rolls in these videos. I mean, I don't know. I have premium YouTube now because I got it, like, I got three months of it for free with the phone I got. So I don't know how many ads are in this stuff, but... um. I am sure there's like eight or nine ads. Let me know down in the comments below how many ads are in these videos. I would love to know. It's got to be a lot. Paste load. I just realized so that like this hasn't been in HD this whole time. A little over 2,700 comments that have to load. The last video I uploaded is called 
getting healthier. <laughs> and then she like proceeds to upload the like does she see this? Like does she see the fact that like we can like we're not we don't suffer from like selective amnesia like we're able to see you start claiming to like try this healthier lifestyle and then literally we've seen you go out to eat like twice like in the next vlog it's just i don't know to me it feels like a slap in the face so i'm gonna let these load and i'll see you guys in a second okie dokie okay i feel like this is a reply yep to someone it is it says jazzy Edit yeah, this can. out. Then why don't you Sorry edit this out? Why not edit out this honest. out? I feel like I did. Oh, that's right. Because so, we have to get to 10 minutes. Since that's directed towards someone else, I'm not going <laughs> to read it. She's going to like... Girl, Becky's going to lose all her weight and leave you for someone else if you don't do something soon. Again, that's just an assumption. Becky is a wonderful person and her love for me is not based on the number when she steps on the scale or the number when I step on the scale. Oh, of course not. I don't think that Becky really cares that much about Amberlynn's weight. <laughs> I mean, considering the fact that she's hauling around her 600 pound girlfriend to go out to eat all the time. So, but I do think a very big contingency of like her love for you is the fact that she, you provide her with a lifestyle that she has become accustomed to, which is not working and like getting free and easy money. So, I mean, I think that that has a lot more to do with the reason why your relationship is still intact and not more, has nothing to do with your weight. So I'll agree with you on that aspect, but I think it's for a different reason. So damn funny. I really needed to laugh tonight. Me well, too. I'm glad I made you laugh. Me too, I Zoe. I'm, I feel like that's a little bit of a sarcasm. But if you laughed, great. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> I husband passed away five years ago. We do not want what she has. Oh, hell to the no. I'm very I don't know what that means husband. either. Uh, my heart goes out to you. So sometimes I wonder, really, like, really, really hard. Sometimes I'm I want, like, I get, con I get comments like that too sometimes. And I wonder if, like, I, I sometimes wonder if, like, people think that, like, as, like, a YouTuber or whatever that we're supposed to, like, know what they're talking about. I don't know. Like, if you want me to know more about that, then you have to be more exp explanatory. You have to be more descriptive about what you're talking about. So I get her with that. Like, sometimes people will, like, reference things, and I'm like, is this an inside joke? Or is, like, so is this between you and someone else in the comment section? Because I don't get it. I'm not sure what you mean by the end of that. Oh my gosh, what creature is this? Oof. They should put this elephant in a zoo. She has no eyes. Her and her girlfriend look alike. Well, if I look like Becky, that means I'm beautiful because I think she's beautiful. Um, this is a reply to someone. Yes, you are. You say it 50 times in a video. Stop lying. I don't know what that's comment, about. This comment picker thing is um, so stupid. Like, Because it's like, dude, we... <sighs> It would just be easier if she would just go through and read some of the comments on her actual video instead of doing this, like, random comment picker shit. You misspelled heavier with healthier. <laughs> That's a fucking read. That's a good one. I like that comment. That's a good comment. EB. No, I'm actually not two, heavier. Two thumbs up. I'm not getting heavier. I'm actually getting healthier, which I'm very, very happy about. We'll see. We'll see. Things on purpose, sure, Jan. Oh my gosh, I really don't like. It's one of my. There's literally videos of you saying that you like to mispronounce things on purpose. Like we, there's literal Evan. That's the thing I don't get. Is like, does she not remember these things? Like, it, it's this like selective amnesia that is so bothersome to me. It like gets me every time. It's like we have seen you come on camera and you say verbatim. I don't want to learn how to pronounce things. I think I enjoy being quirky and cute and saying it wrong. Like, we've seen you say that. One of my biggest insecurities when it comes to, like, things that are not about my body, obviously, because I'm very insecure when it comes to things regarding my body. I but... see that I have a very hard time believing that statement, too, because if you really felt that way, then you wouldn't do these thumbnails of you, like, shoving a whole chicken into your mouth or, like... Like, I don't get that. I don't believe that 100%. I think you know that, like, I don't think you like being super overweight, but I think you are not that insecure. I yeah. could be wrong. <laughs> I could be I right. I people to make fun of me, you know? Amber, I believe that what you Ooh, this is a is good a comment. Weight loss facility. Yes. Your size and your serious problem with yes. You cannot lose weight on your own anymore. There are a lot of good ones in your country. Agreed. So I actually 
don't agree of with course that. not I of course not everyone's advice obviously i just i don't really have anything else to say about that that was really that's all that that someone actually left you some constructive actual criticism and gave you and actually gave you a, a decent option and instead of just instead of actually elaborating or anything you just say nope i disagree with that you need inpatient. I I do think 100,000% that you need some kind of inpatient program. I think she does. I think that's the only way she will be actually successful with her weight loss. She needs to get out of the environment she is in. She needs to, you know, like when drug addicts, they go to rehab and typically they go, they don't go to a rehab like in the direct f town or vicinity for, for where they live because all of those same triggers are going to be there. It seems like the most successful way to kick something like that is to go to a rehab in a complete other city or a complete other state and you pretty much start a new life there and you have to relearn how to interact how to socialize how to work all of that stuff in order to be very successful in your rehabilitation i think that that is very very much the same with amberlynn i think she needs to get away from the people she's around get away from the environment she is in be forced be pushed to expand her her horizons ex forced to expand her idea of how weight loss works and learn what nutrition really is that is the only way she could lose weight in my opinion at this point because doing the same thing is literally insane it's literally the definition of insanity i <sighs> It's crazy because she gets so bent out of shape about people saying these things that are cruel. And I get that. I, I understand that, too. I have, I receive cruel comments, too. But it's like you just keep it pushing. But then the second that you get some actual constructive criticism, you just shut it out immediately. So it's like, what do you want? Do you just want people to ask kiss? That's pretty much what it sounds like to me. Girl, we know you took that spinach off Becky's salad and put it on yours. <laughs> you ain't being healthy, just hefty. Actually, I Becky agree. Didn't have any spinach from what I remember? I don't really remember what her salad looked like. Becky prefers romaine lettuce, while I prefer spinach. <laughs> that comment is actually correct. We don't care. We just watch the cure. Twenty-eight-year-old woman using. Why did she bleep out train wreck? That was weird. Like it was like a curse word that makes over 10k a like month it's a slur because you have ate yourself into your own hell nobody is hating on you we don't get your arrogance and self-entitlement yes i don't understand why people want to watch something again that it puts them in a negative what do you mean you don't know you literally make these videos with this intent like you really ah uh, this is what i hate like i wish you would be fucking real about something like this for a second like you know for a fact that people watch you because they're watching you slowly just ruin yourself. And like, and that is your fault. And the idea that um, you are not privy to that or you're not aware of that, considering the content you put out and the titles you make and like eating a whole rotisserie chicken on camera, like girl, no normal person that isn't six like 600 pounds or whatever well i don't who's 600 pounds really would do that like so it's like be real like you think that you are owed this and then and then you turn around and then you act like oh no I, I don't know why people think this about me like this is the content you put out for this exact reason or you want to like make a riff off of mental illness and like and use it for people to make to pity you i don't it's uh it's so frustrating just be real space whether it's train wreck or any other reason i for one will never get it because i like watching things that make me feel a certain way like happy or inspired in some way and you think that this is what your content <laughs> does to people you think that this content inspires people it makes people feel happy you see are people supposed to feel happy that you've done this to yourself and your girlfriend like, I'm confused. That's just the way I am. And yes, I do use a scooter because I myself have made myself be over 500 pounds. Yes. And it's hard. And you were using a scooter when you were 400 pounds, too. And you thought you were key keying on it while you and Destiny were racing through the aisles of Walmart. <laughs> me to do things. And one day I hope I don't have to use a scooter. And that that's the kind of attitude that is very defeatist to me too one day i hope it's just that one day i will not use a scooter one day i will be able to walk around without getting out of breath one day i'll be able to get out of the car one day i'll be able to buckle my seatbelt one day i'll be able to wear jeans one day like 
that's the kind of mentality you need to have. One day you will do it, not one day I hope. Like, because that implies that like divine intervention or something's going to come around and like make this right for you. When the truth is, is that the person who is in direct control over making that possible is yourself. So if you put your, if you are willful about it and you actually put your mind to it, you could achieve it. That's why I am trying to work on that. Trying. Just do it. Um, Joe Black. Looks like that's a reply to someone. <laughs> to yourself. She's good at pulling stuff, like pulling stunts. Agreed. Agreed. I don't know what that means. It's in reference to you saying pulling out money from the ATM. Pulling stunts would be, imply like you doing all this shit for shock value. The rotisserie chicken. The false rape allegation. Um, what else? Um, the the mukbangs in and of itself are stunts. Uh, they just are. Um, if that's like regarding me pulling stunts, I don't. How do you make frozen grapes? <laughs> I agree with that too. You put them in the freezer. Wash your grapes and then put them in the freezer. <laughs> um, good job going out and eating healthy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It was really hard because I really wanted um, Chinese food. It was like... You you did. You like you did it three days ago. You had Chinese food. I can't. This is so crazy. It's been 24 hours. So hard. Becky salad. Healthy greens and vegetables. Amber. Sea of brown salty high calorie carbs. Yep. It was so good. And I was actually very proud of myself. I mean, people can say what they want. And they will. Chaos for the fly might not be chaos for the bee. That's it's not I feel about things. That's like, not the chose. quote, right? It's about a spider, I thought. What's chaos to the fly is calm is like calmness for the spider. I believe that that's <laughs> a bees and flies are pretty similar. But that comment is dead ass right. Like you barely had any leafy greens in that salad and it was full of macaroni salads, like noodles. Like so I don't know why she's proud of that. Like I wish she would just really take this seriously because I do think Amber Lynn could be successful because there are, there are parts, there are facets of her personality that would be like, if she could turn her mindset around a little bit, I think she could be very successful with her weight loss. And also I think it could happen very quick for her. Like if she was really trying, she could lose 50 pounds in like 30 days very easily. So my salad was actually really healthy compared to what I wanted and could have chosen for sure. It's all about consistency, though. Like, yes, you may have picked that for that one meal, but, like, let's be real. Like, you're not eating that throughout the day, and then the next day, you're eating, you're going out and getting pulled chick, you know, like, barbecue chicken and macaroni and cheese and cornbread and whatever else you're eating there that you're not l telling us. Because that's what it is. Like, she's a secret eater, kind of, to an extent. I mean, the, whatever she's eating on camera, she's probably eating twice as much off camera because that's how you have to that's what you have to do in order to maintain that size to be five two five three and 570 pounds like you have to be eating a ton she's why is that <laughs> that's weird out of so many comments this one popped up again okay i'm gonna do one more she can't dude you could edit that's all of this out the whole thing and dressing as well i Agreed. actually did not put any dressing and i did say that in the um the video because if i already had like a pasta salad type thing I knew that wasn't give it a lot of flavor and I didn't want to add like those extra calories and I didn't need <laughs> the salad. The, so I really do the pasta like, salads in them itself have a ton of calories already of day because it gives me a chance to like answer any questions or just kind of like talk to you guys more one on one. But if they are going to keep being like rude like that, then I don't really want to keep doing it. I just think that spreading so much negativity is not going to help anybody, whether it be the people. Girl, go on your Facebook profile and look at all the dumb shit you used to say about people on there. So let's not pretend that you're like this bastion of positivity because you're not, dog. Go on your Ask FM that you recently stopped going to. Like you used, you used to say some dumb shit about people on there. I hate when she Sending acts like things, she's like not culpable any of you watching who are also in a negative headspace and they don't really want to be hearing things like that so then don't read I'm it gonna try again <laughs> next video again if they're just constant hate why why stop. is Anyways, that I hope you guys why is that amberlyn answer me that girl well that was the react i'm kind of no, I'm not shocked that that one qu that one comment about the inpatient facility I thought was very even. I thought it was very neutral in my opinion. It was just stating a pure fact. 
and that's what she needs to do in order to be truly successful but see and i think that that's proof that like it doesn't matter how even-handed you are with her or how nice you are to her it doesn't matter and i've and that's been a very common occurrence on her channel for a while now and i've had so many people that will send me their dms with her and stuff and they'll show me how this pr how it progresses how like as soon as you stop kissing her ass she gets very nasty and very mean and it's so i am at a i mean i've been at this point for a while like since i uploaded my first video because i've said this before when i first started watching her i used to come on her channel and leave like very positive comments i used to go on there and be like dude like you can do this have you tried this you should see this kind of doctor this has helped me with this cognitive behavioral therapy blah 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 and then you get to a part point when you're like she doesn't give a fuck she really honestly doesn't care she just likes hearing her own voice she thinks that she knows everything she kn she knows the right answers for everything and she's going to stick to that narrative no matter what, if it's her downfall or not. And I mean, it's her life. It's her prerogative. She can do what she wants. But it's annoying for her when she acts as if she if if she was if she received constructive criticism, she wouldn't turn around and still be dismissive of it because that's what she does. And she's very much that. And this video kind of proves that. So whatever I, this is the same old same old i like i said i think the overcorrecting was too harsh and too severe and this is she's they're gonna slowly fall back into their old habits because let's be real they've been doing this for three years now so i don't think that it's that easy with you're not getting some kind of help if you're not going and seeing someone that's going to actually hold you accountable for that stuff it's impossible it just is it just really is you have to have a team of people around you that are going to really help you and support you in a in the right way not by like saying oh my god you walk today like when you know like you need to be pushed you need to be going i know dude i know for a fact there has to be some kind of exercise group or something or in that in that community that where she lives where for people her who are bigger or people who are going i mean she could go to a fucking physical therapist real talk like she could go and pay for a physical therapist and they will give her some real techniques as to how to like really start building up your muscle and building up your stamina so you can actually walk around the mall and not have to sit down every few feet or you don't have to use a scooter and all that stuff or you can't you know and it would really help with her lymphedema it would help drastically but she chooses not to she thinks she knows everything she thinks she knows the answers to it all and this is what this is what it got her and i don't know how she's not able to not see that but it's her life so that's about it um thank y'all so much for watching remember to like comment sub and subscribe and until next time toodles